Hello, today I am talking about why you get the redness, itchiness, and pain of skin conditions such as eczema, psoriasis, etc. And what you can do to lower those uh, symptoms without using topical steroids because topical steroids, as we spoke about last week, are going to be uh, very harmful for the system, especially for our little kids who have you know, much thinner skin and are absorbing a lot of those topical steroids. Those steroids are just like hormones in your own body. Your body should be making those hormones and it should be um, not getting those topically. So how can we um, you know, lower the redness, the pain, the inflammation without these really harmful topical steroids? Well, my answer to that is topical B12. So let's get into it. What does topical B12 do? Why is the skin red, itchy, painful? Well, one of the reasons that you're, um, if you have eczema, if you have psoriasis, if you have um, some kind of skin condition with a lot of inflammation, a lot of redness, um, uh, a lot of pain even, burning sensation as well too, then this could mean that you have increased nitric oxide levels. And nitric oxide is something that your body releases. And what this does is it causes vasodilation. And this causes the redness and, um, you know, potentially the itchiness and the pain sensation that you might feel with eczema, but also things like topical steroid withdrawal. Okay. And how do you get those nitric oxide levels increased? Well, these are really released into the system from things called cytokines and endotoxins. And cytokines are really, uh, they're kind of like your body's messenger system, um, letting the rest of your body know that there's some immune system problem. And you can think of the cytokines kind of like a Wi-Fi signal that spreads out and tells all the other cells that they need to start doing some work in terms of improving um, immune function. Now, this is a really good thing, right? This is a good thing. Um, hello, uh, this is a great thing because your immune system is activated, but this can be a problem when this is a chronic thing that's going on. The immune system is constantly, constantly getting activated and those nitric oxygen Oxide levels are getting higher. They have shown, they have done studies to show that people with eczema have higher um, uh, blood or serum levels of nitric oxide than uh, do those without eczema. And so this is something that we have seen. And this is something that if you have eczema or your child has eczema, um, this is you know what's happening if you're having that redness, the itchiness, and the pain that you might experience with eczema. So what does topical B12 do? Well, topical B12 is a nitric oxide scavenger. So it lowers those nitric oxide levels, thereby lowering the inflammation, lowering the redness, um, lowering the itchiness, lowering the pain and the burning sensation that one might feel. And so it's really just a replacement for something like topical steroids. Um, this is not an answer, okay? like. I like to get down to the root cause. So this is not a root cause answer. This is a great replacement for topical steroids. Now, when you are using those topical steroids, you know, you're really just silencing the symptoms and that's all that this is really doing as well too. Um, do, using topical B12 is something that's just silencing the symptoms. So it's really just a, a tool that we're gonna use in the process of healing your chronic skin condition. But the problem is, is that um, that's not just the, the end of the road, right? Using that cream, great. It's going to lower the redness, lower the inflammation. It's going to help that skin to heal faster because you're taking down the inflammation um, so that uh, skin can heal. But we also need to get down to the root cause. So I do want to stress that this is not an answer, the only answer. Uh, we have to understand what those underlying issues are. Now, there's a reason that cytokines are being released and um, endotoxins are being released from certain infections like bacterial infections, parasite infections. So there's an underlying problem, right? Like why is your body releasing these cytokines which are then releasing um, a lot of nitric oxide? Well, there's a root cause. And that root cause often lies in an immune system di dysfunction such as an overgrowth of you know, candida, yeast, bacteria, parasites, etc. 
and that could really be uh, one of the root cause problems. Those bugs release what are called endotoxins. They're toxins that can then stimulate the body to increase nitric oxide levels, okay? So getting to the root cause means we actually deal with those potential bugs that are overtaking the system. And while we're treating, we can do something to alleviate those symptoms, especially for your child. If it's too hard to you know, make it through the day, to sleep through the night, we can lower those symptoms um, in terms of just helping uh, you know, the person get through the night, which that's really important because that means they're gonna get increased sleep and getting better sleep is gonna mean that the body can heal, okay? Now, one problem with this is you, know, you might go on Amazon or something like that and find topical B12, um, but oftentimes uh, topical B12 has a, a, a short shelf life and um, this is, uh, you know, when you're gonna find this and it's gonna work really well, it really should be compounded by a pharmacy. So you will need to get this from a doctor like myself, a naturopathic doctor. Unfortunately, your conventional doctor may or may not know about this as a potential therapy. There are some studies that do back this up. So your doctor may or may not know about this. Um, you know, normally your, your conventional dermatologist or your PCP or pediatrician is going to recommend more uh, topical steroids. But I have seen um, topical B12 creams work very, you know, if not better than um, topical steroids without all those negative side effects that topical steroids carry, such as thinning of the skin and systemic problems because that steroid is systemically absorbed into the system. Okay, um, so you will need to uh, see a naturopathic doctor or someone who specializes in skin from an integrative approach. That is what I do in my practice, is I work naturopathically and we really try to get to the root cause and I use things like topical B12 to really alleviate the symptoms while we're treating that underlying um, problem. My hope is that we only have to use that topical B12 for, you know, one to four months and we really don't need to keep using it uh, because it's really just alleviating the end result, right? The end result is you're seeing all this inflammation, this redness, this itchiness, etc. cetera. Um, and that's not the root cause. So we use that um, as just a, an alleviator while we're really getting down to the root cause, okay? If you guys are interested in thinking about this option, I do discovery consultations. Um, you're welcome to uh, go to the link in my profile and um, peruse um, my website and um, see if you know a, a discovery consultation is something that might work for you in terms of me getting to know your story and understanding if this might be um, a good thing to replace your topical steroids if you are using them, okay? And I really highly recommend that anyone who's here right now and using topical steroids that you do consider coming off them potentially weaning off them so that you are not, um, you know, just kind of leaving your body without these topical steroids. So I do recommend weaning off of them. And I talked about this in my IG live from last week. So check out that IG live if you want to know more about just kind of like topical steroid withdrawal, weaning off topical steroids, okay? Um, and I know I've missed a couple of questions here. So I would like to open it up uh, to people to ask questions here. So if you did ask questions, please go ahead and ask them again. I did miss it because I was just going on and on about um, how topical B12 is really awesome. Oh, I do wanna say before I answer questions is it's amazing for babies and kids, okay? This is like a really awesome thing for babies and kids um, because your children are more susceptible to those topical steroids than even adults because the skin is, is more thin and they're absorbing more of these topical steroids. This is a big problem because this is going to potentially stump their growth. It's gonna affect their hormones and we just don't want this for our growing kids and it's really important. So I love topical B12 for um, the children in my practice, especially I would say it works really well. Um, and then adults, adults as well, okay? So it works well for adults too. But I'd like to stress and emphasize that for our kids, it is ever more important to really avoid those topical steroids, okay? And looking forward to meeting you during my consult this Thursday. Oh, great, I'm really uh, looking forward to that as well too. And someone says, love to set up a consult for your kids. Yep, um, again, kids, this is a really great 
um, you know, thing to do if you are using topical steroids for your kids right now. I cry because my oldest and youngest always suffer from their eczema. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, and I, I think I know you, <laughs> um, the person who's, who's writing this. Um, and this was me when I was a child. I know exactly what you are going through. Um, it's why I'm a naturopathic doctor now. It's why I'm so passionate about it. It was a struggle getting through my life until, you know, until I overcame eczema, you know, 30 years later, I had it from the, when I was born. And even being a mom, this is, this is such a hard thing because when you are a mom, you know, you're suffering as well as your child. So I understand completely. Um, there is not a brand for the topical B12. You have to use a compounding pharmacy um, and a doctor needs to prescribe this to you, okay? I'm sorry, I'm missing some of these questions here. You guys are going fast. Are you currently taking in new pediatric patients? I am. How do we get topical B12 prescribed by you? So I do need to see you for a discovery consultation. I will understand a little bit more about, you know, if it's the right option for you. And um, usually it is. So usually, you know, um, and, and what I might do is add more than B12 potentially if, the patient is low in vitamin D, for example, I might add vitamin D topically to that cream as well too. And so there's some other items I might add in there uh, to help us out as well too. And I am accepting pediatric patients. A large portion of my patients are pediatric. I treat both adults and kids. But what I have found in today's world is that so many of our kids have eczema and it's because it is the main alarm system our body is really giving, you know, giving us saying that there is a problem underneath. And as I mentioned earlier, one of the problems we can find is that there is an overgrowth of some kind of bug in the system. That's one reason. We could have heavy metal toxicity. We could have environmental toxins. We can have um, mold toxicity. And these bugs create endotoxins, which then increase the nitric oxide levels, okay? And, and either that or some other immune system um, burden that's really causing these NO levels to increase, okay? Um, I missed some of your questions. Please say them again so that I can answer them. Is it safe to use this off the bat if I'm doing no moisture therapy but want to start moisturizing? Oh, okay. Um, and if we, I believe you're the person that said we have a consult on Thursday. We'll talk about this in more detail. I, I kind of have to know more about your story. To me, understanding your story is, is the most important thing. I have to hear everything that's happened. I need to understand when you had eczema. Was it when you were a baby? Was it when you were a child? Um, as a teen, was it when you went through puberty? Is it as an adult? And there's usually some reason your funnel's overflowing and those um, toxins are going, you know, to make it easy, just going out through your skin, causing chronic skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, etc. So we need to understand that. So um, someone who's had eczema from the time they were a child, a baby, is different from someone who had it when they hit puberty. That's going to tell me something different and different from someone who started it as an adult. Okay. So we'll um, want to talk about all those um, questions and answers. And that helps me a little bit more. Also, how long have you been doing no moisture therapy and all of that, okay? Um, does sugar intake exacerbate eczema? And my answer here is absolutely. This is not even a question to me. Sugar is like a toxin for anybody with eczema. And one of the reasons for that is because you likely have some kind of overgrowth in your system of some kind of bug, potentially candida, fungus, mold, parasites, etc. And by giving your body sugar, you are actually feeding those bugs. Those bugs are proliferating. Those bugs are potentially releasing endotoxins and those endotoxins are increasing your nitric oxide levels just to kind of tie it to the discussion that we're having today, okay? So absolutely, that's not even a question to me that anyone who has eczema, you should try to take sugar out of your diet as much as possible. But there's other reasons sugar are a problem too. A lot of times my patients with eczema also have metabolism issues and um, problems, uh, you know, metabolizing and um, 
digesting um, fats, digesting sugars, and um, you know, diabetes, prediabetes, lipid problems, cholesterol problems, and that's a big problem. And then sugar can really exacerbate those issues too, okay? Best way to naturally clean your bile ducts. Um, for you, I would love for you to come to my masterclass. I'm having a masterclass tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. And the link to register for my masterclass is in my bio. And um, you'll just click right there and there's a button that just says free masterclass. I will be talking all about cleaning up bile ducts. I'm, I'm so happy you mentioned that. For eczema, even for kids, this is a big, a big thing. We gotta clean up the bile ducts. So I'm glad you mentioned it. And, um, and if you come to my masterclass, I'll talk about that more. Do you have different methods of payment plans? I would like to get a consultation for my 10 month daughter and follow through with a treatment plan, but worried about the cost in lump sum. Um, you as well, come to my masterclass tomorrow. I am gonna be teaching, so I'll teach a lot about just kind of the root cause of chronic diseases, chronic skin symptoms, especially eczema, because I was an eczema person. So I have a lot of experience in that department. Um, come to my class. I'm gonna teach you all about it. Um, then I'm gonna kind of show you, you know, um, how how I can support you, how we can support you. And then I also break down the costs. And there's a lot of different cost plans. Um, I have really tried to, you know, I think one of the problems is that naturopathic medicine is not accessible to enough people. And that's because unfortunately your insurance typically does not cover naturopathic doctors, um, as someone is asking me right now. And it's really unfortunate. Um, you know, it depends if you have a PPO and you're in California. I am a licensed doctor in California. And um, it depends. I give you all my information. You can call your insurance and see if they will cover you. They often will cover some, but not all of our visits as naturopathic doctors. Um, but I have tried to create lots of different options for people. I have a course. The course is, you know, it's really affordable, $57 per month. And you can learn everything and try to do this on your own. Um, I have, you know, a coaching program and I have a medical program. And the medical program is where we really dig in deep. We order lots of labs. I can prescribe certain things like the topical B12 cream that we are talking about now, okay? And oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I, again, I was an eczema baby. I was an eczema person. I never thought I would overcome eczema. Not only that, I also had gut issues. I had migraines. I had PMS. I had hormonal issues. And, and what, you know, what I teach is that eczema or skin issues, it's really just, it's really just the surface. It's like, it's the first thing that happens when there's a problem. It's your first alarm system is what I like to call it. And typically if you don't answer that alarm system, then you will have further and further and further problems. So, you know, I started with eczema and then around the time I was nine years old, I remember having really severe gut issues. I remember going to, if, if anyone's from the Bay Area, I would go to Great America and, um, and I would eat bad food. My mom and we wouldn't understand it and I would double over and I would throw up and I remember needing to be in um, you know, a wheelchair at Great America because my gut was now so messed up. And then I had IBS and then I had migraines. And if you guys don't fix the problem, if eczema is all you have and you don't fix that problem, more and more problems are going to come along because you are not getting to the root cause. And I like to say that it's kind of like you're driving around your car, then the check engine light comes on and you take your car to a mechanic and all the mechanic does is put a cream over your check engine light. I mean, it's crazy, right? And then sends you away, charges you $1,000 and says, okay, you're fixed. And you're thinking to yourself, you didn't even look at my engine. How is my engine fixed? And that is what um, topical steroid creams, uh, using them is really like. It's really just turning off that alarm system. And I would say that's the same with the topical B12. We are just turning off that alarm system, but we're doing so with something that's healthier for the body, and not gonna cause a lot of the problems that topical steroids are gonna cause. And then in addition to turning off that alarm system, we're also opening the hood, checking the hood, fixing what's inside, okay? So that's really key in this is, I, I don't want you to think that topical B12 is the only answer. It's really just a tool that's gonna help us to get to the finish line, okay? All right, um, thank you so much for those of you guys who came to this IG Live. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to stay 
another minute or so and answer those questions. Otherwise, if you want more information and more in-depth information, please come to my live masterclass. It's free and it's virtual and it's tomorrow, Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. And uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm live and so I'm answering all of your questions just like I'm doing here. Um, but you know, we're spending you know 45 minutes to an hour together and I wanna answer all of your questions. I think, um, you know, in my healing process, I, I really didn't get a lot of my questions answered from my dermatologist. It was really frustrating and I want to be that resource for you because I was so frustrated, so frustrated that I, I ended up going to medical school. And so I wanna answer those questions for you. So join me tomorrow if, if you're available. If you're not available, the replay from last week is also available on the same um, page. And um, sign up even if you can't make it because you will also get the replay to the live I do tomorrow, okay? Thank you so much for joining everybody and I hope you have a great night. All right, bye everyone.